Hey everyone, in today's episode, we're going to learn how to use the Corona Color Correct Map to adjust the colors of any texture in our projects. We're going to start by opening the Material Editor by pressing M on our keyboard or this button. In the Slate Material Editor, right-click the Material View, go to Maps, Corona, and then select the Corona Color Correct Map. After this, we can drag and drop the bitmap into the input slot. If you're dragging it to the slot button, remember to select instant to prevent duplicating the texture. Then connect the Corona Color Correct output node to the map node. In this example, we're using the base color, but it can also be connected to a different map. We have two ways to control the color correction adjustments. The first one, Use Settings from Map, allows to connect a different Corona Color Correct to control the settings. This is useful if we want to have the same adjustments applied to different Corona Color Correct maps. The next option, Use this setting, is the one we're going to use. In this case, we can modify the settings directly in this map. With the Brightness setting, we can make the adjustments darker by lowering the value, for example, to minus 0.5 or to minus 1. And we can do the same to add more brightness if we increase the value to 0.5 or 1.0. We can use the saturation to desaturate the texture color or we can get a stronger color by increasing the saturation value. It is also possible to remove the contrast of the image if we reduce the value to 0 or add more contrast if we increase this value. The hue setting allows us to adjust the tone of the texture. With negative values, we can add cooler tones that, in the case of this example, modifies the green tone to orange. And with positive values, we can add warm tones like red or magenta that, combined with the green texture that we have, we get a blue tone. The next option is the gamma setting. I recommend using this option for HDRIs. This setting will allow us to change the overall lighting produced by the HDRI. For example, if we increase the gamma value, we can get lighter shadows and reduce the light intensity. But if we decrease this value, we get the opposite effect, with darker shadows and a really intense light. We can also modify the temperature of the texture and adjust the tone to be cooler if we lower the value or warmer if we increase this value. We can use this option to balance the colors of the textures to match the temperature of our renderings. We can use the green magenta tint setting to add more magenta tones to the texture if we decrease the value, or green tones if we increase this value. The last setting for this section is the invert colors. We can use this option to get the opposite color of the texture. On the linear HDRI adjustments, we can change the exposure value of the texture. I recommend using this setting for HDRIs or EHR textures only. Changing this value works in a similar way as if we increase or decrease both the brightness and contrast at the same time. The tint option is part of the HDRI adjustment, but we can use it to adjust the color of any texture. For example, we can use this gray sofa texture and change it to a bright blue color. To do this, we're going to place a reference on top of the interactive rendering by using PureRef. To learn more about PureRef and how you can use it, you can see my video tutorial in this link. We're also going to use the Corona Improved Picker to be able to select the color from the Pure Ref window. You can activate it by going to Customize, Preference, and then change the color selector to Corona Improved Picker. Click on the tint color to open the Corona Color Picker window. Then, using the Eyedropper tool, click and hold it to select the blue color from the Pure Ref window. We have a close color, but it's a bit dark. To fix it, we're going to adjust the brightness of the texture, for example, to 0.1 or 0.2. It is also possible to add an LUT, but I personally have never used this option to color correct textures. And the last option is curves. This is an alternative option to adjust the contrast and brightness of the textures. We can also select the independent RGB channels, which is great 
for some adjustments. As we have seen, this map can save us a lot of time if we need to quickly color correct our textures. It is great for minor adjustments and it provides a lot of different options to get the results we want. But for more complex textures or advanced adjustments, I recommend using Photoshop. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.